Okay, so here we have a point cloud that was produced from a drone for a solar project down in Georgia. What we're going to do is we're going to launch Autodesk Recap Pro. We're going to create a new project and import that LAS file. We'll call this Camilla Solar. and we're going to import that file and we're going to want to click the advanced tab and make sure we define the coordinate system so it appears that the uh, current coordinate system was not defined within the LAS file typically this will automatically recognize how it was exported, the coordinate system that was defined previously. So for now we're just going to select Georgia NAD83 State Plane West US Foot. We're going to import the files. Once that's done, we click on Index Scans, and then Launch Project. And here we go, we've got our Drone Point Cloud. So panning around, doing a 3D orbit, Point Cloud looks pretty good. Switch back up to the top view, go to our Home, and then import export select the export command I'm gonna export this point cloud to an RCS file RCS is essentially just a simplified point cloud uh, makes it easier to manage within InfoWorks and Civil 3D Okay, so now that we have it exported, let's go ahead and launch Civil 3D. In this case, we're using version 2018. Okay, so once this is done loading, we're going to want to set up our drawing to be in the correct coordinate system. And to do that, we're going to go in our tool space under settings, in our settings tab. We're going to right click on drawing one and select edit drawing settings. And here's where we're going to define the coordinate system. So it's very important that you set the coordinate system prior to bringing in or importing that RCS file. Um, just to keep things consistent, if we didn't do this, it would throw it off in space somewhere and things wouldn't line up as it should. Now, I like to use the geolocation tools, turn the aerial on, just to make sure I'm in the right location. Now we're going to go to insert uh, point cloud and we're going to scroll to that RCS file click open, hit OK, and it's going to automatically zoom to the point cloud once it brings it in. And there you go. So everything seems to be lining up. Uh, that aerial is coming from the geolocation tools. Now we're going to create a surface from that point cloud. I'm going to select it and we're going to call this existing grade put it on a display for survey contours so for point cloud selection we have a few different options we can select the entire point cloud we could select just a portion and we could also remove portions of it for now we're going to keep everything selected so we're going to process and convert the entire point cloud to a surface 
And with point filtering, you've got planar average, cringing, interpolation, and no filter, just different filtering methods. We're going to keep no filter selected to make sure that it grabs all the points. Now it's going to process it in the background. Right here you can see in the lower right it's doing some work. It's adding the points to the surface. It's creating the surface. Depending on how big the, the point file is, the RCS file, um, it, this could take up to a couple hours I've seen. Um, we simplified this a little bit. Uh, so here we go. Now we can see um, the contours themselves, it's based off the triangulation. We didn't define a boundary. So let's edit the style to show the triangles, just to see what's going on. So it's triangulating beyond the points that are coming from the point clouds. So what we got to do now is we've just got to clean it all up. And to do that, we expand existing grade, right click on edits, and delete lines. And now we're just going to select all these lines and clean it up. So at this point, the video is going to go super quick. In total, it took about nine minutes to process this to delete all the lines. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what that process looked like, so I just really wanted to speed it up instead of making you sit for nine minutes while I deleted lines. Okay, so now we have it processed. We've got it cleaned up. Let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to save this to the same location as I have the point files. And for consistency purposes, I'm just going to keep this named uh, Camilla Solar. And I'm going to add existing surface. Let's go ahead and save it. So it doesn't look like I'm seeing all the contours on my surface, so I'm going to turn the level of detail off. Just gives me a warning. Just because it's a lot of data. And there you go. Now we can start to see all the existing contours throughout the site that were produced from the surface. Let's go ahead and look at it in Object Viewer. Just get a better view of or idea of what's going on with that surface. Let's go to an isometric view. Oh, looks like I only have the boundary being displayed in model, so let's edit that style. Go to View Direction Model and turn on the triangles. Hit OK. And let's go back to Object Viewer. And there you go. So now it looks like we've got, I mean, it's a pretty flat area in general, but it covers a big swath of land, and we've got an existing conditions or an existing surface that we could start laying out our design on top of.